So the Nuclear Security Summit in Washington is our starting point this morning. Before the summit officially kicks off on Thursday local time, President Park and Hay has been holding four rounds of sideline talks with the leaders of the US, Japan and China on North Korea's nuclear threats. Let's connect with our presidential office correspondent Song ji who is traveling with President Park. So ji four rounds of talks in one day, but the president's message to Pyongyang has been strong and consistent throughout. You're correct, Mark. And our last one-on-one -on -one session with Chinese President Xi Jinping is about to start as we speak, as it got delayed an hour due to previous summit talks. In their first meeting since North Korea's fourth nuclear test in January, President Biden is likely to call for Beijing's role in halting Pyongyang's nuclear ambitions, with the two sides seeking ways to mutually upgrade their strategic partnership. In the trilateral talks held earlier with the U.S. and Japan, the three countries reaffirmed their consensus on effectively implementing the strongest ever U.N. Security Council resolution on North Korea after its recent provocations to secure regional security and stability in Northeast Asia. President Biden stressed that Seoul, Washington, and Tokyo and the international community will not tolerate more provocations from Pyongyang and that the regime will face with even stronger sanctions and further international isolation if it refuses to abandon its nuclear ambitions. She also touched upon Seoul's efforts to improve the human rights situation of the North Korean people, saying it is a matter of humanitarian nature. President Obama said the three countries are united in their stance toward countering North Korea's nuclear aggression, and that the three countries agreed upon advancing trilateral security cooperation. The three leaders also discussed other global issues such as terror threats coming from groups like ISIS and as well as tackling climate changes. And now the official programs of nuclear security summit kicks off with reception, followed by working there at the White House, hosted by U.S. President Barack Obama, who first proposed and launched this gathering more than six years ago. Back to you, Seoul.